Well, hello and welcome to Solo Motor UK. This is Derek. I'm on the Royal Enfield uh, Interceptor 650 twin. Just getting on the Warwick Bypass in Coventry, the start of it. I'm just off to Studley. Clear. Yeah, I'm just off to Studley to uh, go to the uh, Royal Enfield Owners Club. And uh, I'm going to see what it's like to check it out. It's my nearest one. Studley, eh, from Coventry. It's only 30 miles away, but how you get there is unreal. <laughs> There's a couple of ways actually. I think this is the best way for me. But you can actually go up the M642, get on the 40, then into Studley that way via Redditch. But um, I'm coming this way, Coventry. Coventry to uh, Stratford and then Stratford and then cut across to Studley through that way so I'll get back to you because this is the boring uh, Warwick bypass well hiya we're back off uh, the Warwick bypass now we're on the uh, B4463 heading towards Enley, uh, Enley in Arden that is Enley in Arden what a beautiful country ride on the way to it. <laughs> Can't grumble. There's the M40. Gone over the top of the 40 now. We're turning left here. I know these roads quite well. Uh, I've rode them before. Uh, I'll get around this bend and show you. Oh, now we're heading into the sun. Sorry about this. Um, yeah, um, they come quicker than what I thought. I did put them on my community tab. I got the uh, time clock and the outside temperature thermometer. I think they look quite good there in chrome and stainless. They are waterproof. I know there's better out there, but I thought these are quite nice. I think they're very retro and go with the bike. So uh, that's that done. Uh, tomorrow I've got uh, I've got the actual um, dust cover, Royal Enfield dust cover coming. Only a dust cover it is. It's not uh, an outer cover, just to keep the dust off it in the shed after I polished her. Oh, these are belting roads, these are. Literally belting roads. You've got the old cottage here in there, like that. Just look at this, eh? Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I got to know these roads in my younger days, and uh, I used to have the old Zuki GT500 with a big long exhaust, two stroke. Oh man, that used to tear these roads up back in them days. Wow, really tore them up, the old Zuki 500 GT. I wish I had it now because they're selling for about £10,000 now, ain't they? If you look them up, depending how good a condition they are. But the best ones to get are the very cleanest ones that ain't been restored, they fetch the most. The ori totally original, no fresh paint, no nothing. It's like everything like that, isn't it? You can over restore them and make them too new. They lose the value they do. I found that out when I had my MGB GT car. The bloke says you want to leave uh, the dash in and everything in, don't get the new one. So I left it as it was. It's beautiful this is isn't it, eh? Absolutely brilliant. Time is uh, half past seven. Well, that one's saying. <laughs> Look at this, eh? Beautiful road. Proper old B road, this is.
got to renew my membership with the uh, I am Institute of Advanced Motorcyclist. It's due in August. I could go to the seaside and just run it in. Go to the seaside on it for the day. Oh, 30. Well, here we go, look at that. 30. Look at the old uh, Barncombe bus stop. Yeah, Henley we want, Henley and Arden, and then on to uh, Studley. Look at that, that beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful, this is. Look at that pub, the crown in. Yeah, I'll keep you with me, there's a nice couple of bends coming up. On to 50, yeah. That's it, top gear now. Drop the revs down. Beautiful bends. Well, I emailed the bloke today and he ain't got back to me. Most of Liam Barbados. <laughs> uh, mind you, it's hot enough here. Got all the geese there. They do fattening them up for Christmas. At the geese farm. Two miles to Henley. Yeah, I've got the, uh, how am I going to do this? I'll hold on the back rail and watch. I've got the uh, retro uh, boots on, the Brooklands. Can you see that one? <laughs> I'm a nutter, I? Yeah, the uh, retro Brooklands boots, the bullet jeans, quite comfortable. And I've got the, uh, as you can see, the watch jacket and my retro uh, gloves hanging a BMW crash helmet on <laughs> yeah. I'm just waiting for the uh, camera scaffolding to come so I can fit it on the um, so I can fit it on the uh, new retro helmet oh I've got to do a video for that I could have done that today I'll do it when I get back tonight. I've got some bright white lights. Um, yeah, lovely helmet. Fits absolutely brilliant. Quality is very good. I like the leather and the velvet in it. As you've seen it on my uh, community tabs already. But straight over towards Redditch. Good Jaguar there, very nice. Look at these properties, eh? Beautiful. Got character. I love places like that. I wouldn't name one, but it's nice to look at them. And that big thing up there, wow. <laughs> Under the tunnel, old railway bridge. Up to 50. it handles really well on being serious a lot of the way it leans it's very 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 fragile beautiful machine you can feel the power in it the mirrors are not busy I don't know where people are getting that from when I get around here I'll show you what I mean look them mirrors are not buzzing are they, they're clear same as that one, it's clear not buzzing so where do people get the idea from these buzz? obviously they ain't got them tight up tight enough are they? that's what's happening there quite good mirrors oh that one will cut out a little bit that's better and it's strange eh, what people say you set your mirrors on your bike when you're riding you come in, you park it as soon as you get back out you have to adjust them again <laughs> it's true isn't it? definitely true 
back. See what it's like for balance. Yeah, balancing all right. And that's going down now. Now, yeah, I'll just grab that. Yeah, balance is all right. Really good. This is it. No. Yeah, it is, isn't it? 